been some major changes for the Doherty County school system, and some are still on the way. Fox 31's Res Pickner connects us to that story. Thanks, Franklin. There were 10 items listed on changes for DCSS this year, and we decided to pick out the ones that parents were reacting to the most. Take a look. Today, the community gathered around for food, fun, and a little knowledge about the Doherty County school system. We're trying to find a fact, find a mission to try to step in and see what we can do for the kids. Daryl Elam, school board member, handed out a list of achievements for this school year. Item number one was Doherty High getting a completely new look. I think they've really made some great strides in redeveloping the high schools. And especially Doherty High. And Achievement number five, the percent of children eating has increased. Well, at one point in time, we got free lunches too, but then I think uh, something changed and then some of them have to pay like partial payments. Now, 91% of kids in the Doherty County school system receives a hot breakfast and lunch. Other achievements include $14 million in federal funds getting released into DCSS and new technology in the classrooms. But parents think now that money has helped the image, now it's time to focus on the kids. I've seen a lot of children that, uh, that, that they're overweight. Although she's happy to see kids get food, she thinks a healthier menu and less of sugary drinks can help with this problem. Just come in and, 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 and focus in on those kids a couple hours a day, see what the problem is to get that status up, to get those grades better. Others agree. They would like to see more tutoring and college education incorporated in lessons. That was one major thing Margaret Mathis says she hopes her grandchildren are able to experience in the years to come. Reyes Spigner, Fox 31 News.